Hello and welcome and thank you for joining me. Today we're going to talk about Salesforce security model. Um, this is also one of the videos in the series of admin fundamental concept. Um, also this video is equally important to anyone at any level if you want to refresh your security uh, model and concepts. S Salesforce security is something that uh, comes up again and again uh, regardless of the project you are in. So I hope you find this video helpful. Um, we are not going to talk about profile and permission set. So profile and permission sets are uh, comparatively easier to understand than the record level sharing. So before we get started, um, profile and permission sets are usually uh, giving access to object level and field level. So you have account contact, some custom objects, you want somebody to have access to those objects, you just go to the profile check a box and they get access to that object. And similarly with the field level, um, where it gets more tricky is uh, now you want some users to see certain accounts and you want some other users to not see certain accounts, but they both have access to account object. Um, there are a lot of uh, requirements and use cases around that. For example, if you're dealing with patient data or anything that has to do with not everybody needs to see that. So it's your personal records. Um, so it's a very, very wide use cases um, around that record level sharing. So uh, let's start, let's get right in. So I have created this flowchart, uh, which I think might be helpful. So first of all, we start with org wide default. And important thing to keep in mind about org wide default is it is only, it, it can restrict access. It's the only way to restrict access. So let's say if somebody has access to an object and you want to restrict access, not open access, restrict access, then that can only be done by org wide default. The reason I say that is, um, let's take an example for an account. So your object is account. So obviously first thing you need to check, so you need to ask your business, um, or you know you need to check your Salesforce org um, to make sure that the user has a license that supports that object. So for example, account is only supported in some license uh, in the Salesforce, more than likely that is already the case. And then also confirm that the user has access to the object itself, um, whether by profile or permission set. Then uh, this is where the fun starts. So um, one of the first thing you check is whether or not it's a master detail and on the detail side, because if it is on the detail side, then the sharing will be controlled by parent. So you won't even be able to control the sharing if it is on the detail side. Since our object is account, uh, that is no, and then we get in this second um, junction where um, you ask the business, will there ever be a situation where this user, any user, shouldn't see or edit a particular record, even though they have access to the object? So this is the fundamental question that you need to ask yourself and your business uh, be when you're getting started with a new org or with a new object, because this will decide whether or not you want your org wide default to be public read or public read write. So let's say if the, question, if the answer is um, no, actually there will be certain scenarios where we don't want some users to see some records or some users to edit some records. If that, if that answer is yes, and it could be one single scenario, it doesn't have to be many, it could be one scenario where that's true, then you know that the object model uh, org wide default should be private or public read, depending on um, what the requirement is. If they want the records completely hidden from everyone, then it needs to be private. So um, then you can say, okay, uh, the org wide default for account is private. And the way you do that is really simple. Um, all you need to do is come to sharing settings on the setup, go to account, and hit private. Now, when you uh, if you notice and try this on your org, when you try to change the account to private, it will by default set case and opportunity to private as well. That is just standard functionality of account. And some of these uh, standard objects actually have their own kind of secure um, sharing setting. So for example, lead has a transfer option, but usually custom objects have um, three options, public read only, public read write, and private. Um, and some of the objects, standard objects, has this option called control by parent, specifically for contact. Um, okay, so once you have decided that and 
confirm. So if somebody wants an account private, you need to tell them that, okay, opportunity and case will also end up being private. Um, why that's important, we'll look at it in a second. So you have now op restricted the access. Okay, cool. So nobody can see records unless they actually own it. So if I am the user and I created an account, I will be the owner for that account and I should I will be able to see that account no matter what the org wide default is other there are other things that override the org wide default so if a profile has access to view all there's a checkbox on object level called view all or modify all if they get access to that checkbox then they can see all the records even if the org wide default is private so something to keep in mind you might want to you might uh, start debugging and the org wide default is private, but the user is still able to see it. Uh, that could be because their profile is probably view all or modify all. Okay, now let's talk about opening up the access. So once we restricted it, then they will say, okay, well, this is so next concept is role hierarchy. And points to keep in mind is it doesn't have to always align with your HR chart. In fact, um, let's say your HR chart probably is going to be way bigger than this. Um, does not mean that you need to recreate the entire role hierarchy into your org because the role hierarchy main role is to open up access and control the sharing um, and also controls forecasting and stuff like that. So uh, try not to think of it as your HR chart, but more about how to give access to certain people inside Salesforce. So. In this scenario, I want A1, A2, and A3 being able, um, they are under, so I want the East, there's a manager here. Uh, the manager needs to see all the records owned by A1, A2, A3. So A1 can see their record because we defined that OWD is private. So A1 can see only their record, A2 can see only their record, A3 can only see their record. Um, now, but there's always a manager or lead who needs to see all their records so now you know that okay if i assign the east if i if i create a role called east and make them on a higher level than a1 a2 a3 they should be able to see that that's how the role hierarchy works so role hierarchy means uh, anybody who has higher level will see anything that's owned or whatever these people can do uh, the east role can do and so on it goes up so e emia will actually see all east section west section and anything beyond uh, below them as well so this is how you start designing your hierarchy you can start from high level the hr chart will give you a uh, blueprint so you can start with ceo who, who has access to everything um then you can say okay my company operates in three different regions apac eu and emia and then in emia we have two regions east and west um, the East person, the head here, regional manager, should see all the records. And the West regional manager should see all the West uh, region records. So it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, this is also used in reporting. So if you have my team uh, opportunity, my account teams, uh, those kind of scenarios also plays here. Um, there is a checkbox in custom objects that you can check. Sometimes, even if the... Sometimes there might be a requirement where you don't want the lead leader or the higher level getting access, even if you have access to the record. So you can uncheck this uh, grant access using hierarchy checkbox. This is only available for custom object though. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, okay, so role hierarchy is another way to give access or open up access after you set it to private. Okay, so now um, now we establish that so another way so now the requirement comes now the business user comes to you they're like well um the a1 a2 a3 are working in the same reason it would be nice that if they're able to see each other records at least even if a1 creates an account a2 creates an account they should at least be able to see each other records then we get into sharing settings and i don't have a visual for that but uh, sorry sharing rules so sharing rules are actually for to give access to records. So uh, creating sharing rules is fairly simple as well. Um, you can go to setup and you can type sharing rules here or you can come to sharing settings and you can start creating sharing rules like this. So you 
hit new and you can create two types of sharing rules so this was also somewhat tricky for me to understand when i was getting started but basically you can have a record owner based or criteria based so criteria based is more like you can use a field so let's say i can say um account country equals uh something like us for example if the account country is us share this those accounts with uh these roles in er so this is one one way to share sharing rules um share records and you can also directly share roles and internal subordinates that means let's say if i give an access to higher level roles so if i give access to uh amia I can say AMIA and its subordinates, then everybody will get access at once. So that that helps you avoiding uh, tons of sharing rules. If your requirement is same and if you want to share everything with everyone, you can just use roles and subordinates. That's really handy instead of trying to create sharing rules uh, for each role. So that's based on uh, criteria, based on record owner. And this is what we're going to use here is um, you can also say account owned by members of this role so basically i want to share all the accounts that's owned by a mere um, role with everybody in that same role so what that will do is imagine uh, amir is actually our um, east or amia so what does that do it actually so anybody who owns a1 a2 a3 they all belong to that role and whatever any if anyone creates an account the other person will see that as long as they are in the same role and this is this is specific to account it's not for all the custom object but since you have account you can also set default access to opportunity so just because they, are, they see the account can they see cases can they see opportunities you can define that here if they see an account they can see the opportunity they can also see the case maybe the case is private whatever your use case might be you can set it right here there is no need to create multiple sharing rules for cases and opportunities if you have a sharing rule for account you can just set it up right here on on the default level of access for the users okay and i just realized i never showed you what role is so roles are actually something that you create on your hierarchy tree so if you go to set up roles and this is where all the roles can be created something like this so this basically aligns with your chart like this i always recommend using some kind of visual uh, visual thing to show to your business users and then you can come back to salesforce and create that role and what happens is that role gets assigned to user so if i am if i go to my name here i will I can show you there's a role field on this uh, user record. That's what creates, that's what defines the sharing rules. So when you create a sharing rule based on role, this is what it's looking at. Okay, and there are, there are a lot of other uh, instances. And if you are interested in learning more about sharing um, in general, please let me know and I can uh, dig more into these specific uh, use cases. Uh, but this was an introduction, so I hope this was helpful. Uh, again, uh, reach, reach out to me if you have any questions. Thank you so much.